Okay, I just fabricated a spring. I fabricated this one. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I bought these uh, plastic truck toolboxes. Uh, and they have these springs down in there. And on one of them I bought, two of the springs were missing and I couldn't find them uh, to buy anywhere. So I, I bought some, uh, what they call music wire or piano wire. This particular one that I'm using is 8th inch. I got it at Ace Hardware. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description. Now the one I did on the bottom uh, has a little bit less of a band uh, overall, but that'll just make it a little tighter. And I don't know if you can see the label on this. And I'll just take a grinder to cut it right off down here to size. Now one thing I just noticed is one of these is a left hand spring and one is a right hand spring. So when I made this, I copied the ones I had. So now I have three right hand springs. I don't know if I can salvage it or not, but I'm gonna have to make a left hand spring. So this is how it sits in there. So as you can see, this right hand spring doesn't work over here on the left. Okay, so I wound the other one to the right and I don't have a left hand spring to go by. But basically, it's just a mirror image, so I've got my piano wire here. And this is a half inch board, just a scrap board that I put a carriage bolt through the bottom. It's a half inch carriage bolt. And I tightened it up to pull it through into the wood. And then now I've got uh, the nut on it loosened. So basically, I've got this, I don't have a vise or anything, so I've got this screwed down to a double stump. I just happened to cut this tree down the other day. I got two screws in this board, one there and one right there. And that's holding the board down. And then I've got two screws here to hold this wire uh, so it doesn't move around too much. So I'm, I'm gonna figure out the length I need here. I've got a good spring on top so I'm going to just lengthen that wire to match it and be just a little longer for that curve. Okay, that should do it. Now in the first wind, I'm going to tighten this bolt down a little bit uh, so I can keep this piano wire down on the wood. Okay, I've got the washer sitting on top of the piano wire and I've got it loose enough just to come around uh, here and then I'll loosen this bolt a little bit so it can keep going around The original spring has four winds. I put five winds on the one I made uh, But I'm gonna stick with four winds on this because uh, There is a little bit of a tight space to get this this spring in there So I'm gonna wind it four winds to the left Okay, I'm getting ready to go around. I'm about halfway on the first turn. And I'm just holding the wire right here and here with both my hands as I pull. But right now I gotta loosen this nut about a turn and a quarter so I can have room to go around. I tightened uh, that bottom screw so that the wire wouldn't slip and start to slip. Once. I'm going to keep going around three more times, loosening that uh, nut as I go, as I need to. Okay, I've gone around four times, and I'm going to lay the old spring on top, and I've gone just a little bit more than 180, just to match that slight curve. Now I'm going to put that odd band right in there. And in order to do that, I'll need to put a screw there. 
I'm using these three inch screws. You, you need really long screws or they could, I'm using deck screws, uh, they could bust if they're too short or too old. So be very, very careful. They can uh, bust and pop up and hit your eye. So be very careful. Okay, I've got the screw in there. I'm just gonna bend this wire around to match the original. Okay, I've got this bent. It's a little looser of a bend than the original, and that'll just make it work all the much better. I'll eventually cut this to size. I got one more bend to make on the end here. Okay, I've removed the spring from the half inch bolt, and now I'm gonna put two screws here. Okay, now the original, it bends uh, to the right, but I'm going to bend this one back this way. And I've got, got them lined up here, and I'm just giving myself a little bit extra there. By the time I turn it around, it'll be just about right. Okay, um, it's a little deeper than the original, but I think it'll work. It's going to fit in there just fine once I put the hinge pin uh, in.